Power Book 4 kills off one of the Flynn's. Director Lisa Domain explains why spoiler had to go. Warning, this post contains major spoilers from Friday's Power Book 4, Force. Proceed accordingly. Power Book 4, Force has taught us that Chicago drug kingpins must always be ready for attack from all sides. But in this week's hour, Walter Flynn learns the hard way that all sides also includes from within your own family. The Irish drug lord played by Tommy Flanagan dies in episode 5 when Claudia and Victor orchestrate a hit on him. At the last minute, though, Claudia double crosses her brother and makes it so that he'll go down in the attack, as well. But things don't proceed according to plan, in the end, Victor is the one who fires the fatal bullet, then realizes that his sister meant for him to die, as well. Though he doesn't reveal to Claudia what he's learned, he visits US Attorney Stacy Marks at the end of the episode and offers to hand over Claudia, now the head of the entire Flynn operation, in exchange for complete immunity. Marks counters by asking him to help take down CBI and Tommy Egan, and Victor barely pauses before agreeing to all of it. Walter's death is yet another moment of instability in the highly volatile Chicago drug scene, and it will have ramifications throughout the rest of the season. To mark the occasion, TV Line chatted with director Lisa Domain, Lucifer, Westworld, who helmed the episode. TV Line you find out that you're going to direct the episode where Walter Flynn goes to the great beyond. What's the first thing that pops into your head? I'm like, oh, my god, not Tommy Flanagan. Laughs he is such a beloved cast member. Everyone loves him. So. I felt a huge responsibility to send him off with an epic opus ending, right? Gary Lennon, showrunner, and writers Sammy Horowitz and Adam Fison wrote an amazing script that sent him off. So I just felt it was my duty to send him off in a blaze of glory. And just being the big personality that Walter Flynn is, he went out in a blaze of glory. At the end when he, right before Victor kills him, he said my beautiful boy, you have your mother's eyes in that moment, it's like he still loves Vic. Mind blown, right? And then, pull the F, King Trigger. Laughs. T-Blind Walter is so savvy. He knows that people are always coming for him. Yet there's still that blind spot when it comes to the kids, right? It's familial. Every parent has a blind spot with their child, you know. He sees it more with Claudia, because he knows her ambition, than he does with Vic. He doesn't see it. T-Blind were you able to shoot so that the death was Tommy's last scene? Yeah. The assistant directors scheduled it in a manner that when we at sunrise, because we shot that all night so when we had sufficiently taken care of Tommy and Walter and sent him off, it was a fond but bittersweet goodbye, saying goodbye to him. Line, did Tommy have any strong feelings or thoughts about how he wanted the scene to go? We had a nice collaboration, because Walter's so formidable. We talked. And I also didn't want any of this kind of activity, but in terms of coordinating the stunt, he's like, I don't want to be like Ratchet strapped and pulled and blasted and all of that. He goes, I'm a man that stands my own ground, even in getting shot. So when he gets shot in the back, you see it, and he stumbles forward, but it's not one of these big stunty moves where he gets pulled and all that kind of thing, right? t line right. He stays in control of his world until the end, when he directs Vic to shoot him. t line I love that moment, that Victor could not shoot his father until Tommy turned around. He doesn't have that in him. No. When we were prepping and shooting, and I was talking to Shane Harper, who plays Victor and Tommy about the scene and what's going to happen and talking especially to Shane about where I wanted and needed him to go, we were talking and would he be just really cold and icy like, this is on you, old man. And I'm like, you've got to lose your SHT at this moment. You have to. You have to let go of everything that you have felt because of glorious death and all the indignations that you have suffered under Walter over the years of being Walter Flynn's son. I mean, the arrows have been deep and many over the course of Vic's life. I said, at this moment, you have to lose it.